NBC 26, meteorologist Brian Misnansky. The Wolf River for a time yesterday flowed over its banks. You can see in Shyacton, Carla sends us this photo, part of the NBC 26 weather team. Kind of hard to see, but you can see kind of the boat docks over here. Uh, again, Probably a lot of that water from up north from all those heavy thunderstorms uh, last week starting to flow down here a little bit. But uh, word is, is the uh, I just checked some of the river levels. They're already starting to go down, so that's some good news. Uh, we also have a couple light showers out there this morning. Uh, you can see scattered light showers working through the area. Maybe a little bit heavier action closing in on Marinette and Menominee this morning. Already passed through Oconto. Not much rain. We're talking about a tenth of an inch of rain at best here. Most of the area just a trace to a a couple one hundredths of an inch of rain. Kind of a haze out there in Green Bay this morning, 65 degrees in Green Bay. We only had one little brief shower here at NBC 26. 63 the current temperature in Appleton. Cooler along the lake, 49 in Kiwani, 55 in Manitowoc, but 60s inland this morning. Let's go through your forecast highlights. Most of us, once we get rid of these showers this morning, are going to be dry uh, for today. Cooler again tomorrow. Nice start to the weekend on Saturday, but Sunday we could have some thunderstorms. All right, a batch of showers working through this morning with an area of low pressure. Then a cold front trailing behind it. That passes through later on today and tonight. And Along that cold front, some heavy thunderstorms. Uh, one uh, cluster to the east of Rapid City, east of the Black Hills. Another cluster, a couple of them down towards Nebraska and Missouri this morning. All right, let's go through precision cast here as we head on through our day. Again, the slightest possibility of a shower popping up with this area of low pressure in place, but you can see really not much happening here. Still a slight chance of a shower popping up overnight tonight. and. As we head into Friday, this area of low pressure across the plains actually goes to the south of us, bringing all the rain with it. Tomorrow afternoon, I think we start seeing lots of sunshine and more sun on the way for Saturday. So your forecast for today, 78 by noon, slight chance of a shower uh, returning to the area, but I really think once we get rid of the showers this morning, we are dry. 72 on Saturday. 74 on Sunday with showers and storms likely. Another chance of showers and storms on Monday. And looking ahead to the big weekend next weekend, Haley's big weekend. Wedding bells, yes, 78 for your high on Saturday with a chance of thunderstorms. I don't like the chance of thunderstorms, but we're praying for a miracle. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's summertime stuff. We'll so, see. I mean, even if it rains, you're probably looking at maybe one or two hours. Just hopefully it doesn't land at a wrong time. All right. Okay. okay.